Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be making for you vegan condensed milk. I remember back in the day I used to be eating regular condensed milk out of the can. Like seriously, like going out, going in on it. So, you know, now that I'm a vegan, I've been craving, um, you know, condensed milk. So I'm, I've decided to make a vegan condensed milk, okay? To help you folks who are, were like me, addicted to condensed milk <laughs> back in the day, okay? What I'm going to be using is raw honey and full fat coconut milk. All right, let's start. Okay, in a small saucepan, what you're gonna do is bring your coconut milk to boil, to a slight boil on medium to high heat, okay? Then what you're gonna do next is put your honey, you're gonna use a quarter cup of honey. You can use more if you want to, but I'm gonna use a quarter cup, a quarter cup of honey, or you can use date syrup, and you're gonna whisk it in. As long as you get all of it out of it, out of your cup. Yes. Sheesh, I wanna eat it already. You're gonna take your whisk and whisk it in. Whisk it until it becomes dark brown. Now what you're gonna do is to bring this to a gentle boil and you will let it simmer for 25 to 30 minutes on medium heat. As you can see, it's starting to bubble up just a little bit. That's the gentle boil I'm talking about. Let it boil like this for a little over a minute before you turn it down to the medium heat. Let me try to focus this a little bit. There it is. Yep, then you turn it down to medium to low heat. And this is going to boil for about 25 to 30 minutes. It's going to get a little bit thicker. It is going to reduce in the amount that you already originally had. And it's going to be darker. And we will show you the t consistency and the texture that I wanted to get at the end of the video. Alright, as we know... Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of facts while this is boiling, okay, or simmering, so to speak. Now we know that coconut condensed milk is a great substitute for the regular traditional sweetened condensed milk, and any recipe that calls for the regular traditional condensed milk, you can replace it with the coconut condensed milk. You're just gonna have a coconutty taste to it. All right, you can use it in cakes, you could use it in ice cream, as an ice cream base, you could use it for fudge, you know, so on and so forth. Or even oatmeal if you want like that condensed milk taste in oatmeal, you can use it in oatmeal as well. Or, you know, banana breads, cookies, all of that. All right, so I'll see you when the coconut condensed milk is almost done. All right, guys, it's been 10 minutes thus far, and it's still at a gentle boil. It's simmering, okay? Be sure to whisk it every now and then. So it's going to start looking like, starting to thicken up a little bit. what it's gonna be looking like after 10 minutes at this point it has reduced a major deal all right it's been 30 minutes and it's time to turn it off let's see the consistency a little bit thicker not too too dark unless you put a puzzling amount of honey gonna do is pour it out in a glass or Tupperware 
and you would allow it to cool to room temperature before putting it in the before sealing it and putting it in the fridge now this can last you in the fridge for up to five to seven days okay use it wisely this is exactly how it looks again. it tastes good coconutty goodness and healthy too okay hope you enjoy